his 14th question. In Leary's models, what is the final circuit and what are its attributes? So I answer. In the eight circuit model of consciousness developed by Tim Leary and Robert Anton Wilson following the psychedelic revolution of the 1960s, the eighth and highest circuit was called the neuroatomic circuit and associated with mental perception of reality at the size scale of atoms, the components of the elementary molecules on the periodic table. Leary placed this level above that of the seventh circuit, which he called the neurogenetic circuit, responsible for conscious awareness of reality at the level of our own genetic code, as well as the sixth circuit, which he called the neuroelectric circuit, responsible for consciousness at the level of the electrochemistry of our own neurons. I believe he did this because of the order in which these scales of reality were discovered by people, mostly during Leary's own lifetime not because this is the order these levels actually occur in, in reality. Molecules are the particles of DNA, atoms of molecules, and quanta of atoms. But the quantum of electricity is the electron, which is smaller and faster than the quarks and gluons of the atomic nucleus let alone than the diameter of an atom itself. So even though people discovered electricity, then genetics, and then atomic physics in this order, this is not the order these occur in as size scales accessible to the mind. Not only would this necessitate rearranging the order of Leary's eight-circuit model, it would certainly imply the addition of another if not a final layer to it, a ninth circuit of sub-quantum consciousness. At this level, the mental self becomes aware of 5D hyperspace underlying all reality and is able to meld with it in such a way that the localized mind and this non-local energy field are understood as being one and the same substance and any imagined illusory borders between them evaporate. 